Uh, I, I'm sure wherever you are across this great nation, you've been hearing about the controversy over Assembly Bill 101 here in the state of California, which would uh, uh, provide uh, gay rights legislation to, to make it illegal to... Uh, oh, would make it illegal to discriminate against homosexuals on, on the job. Our, our governor, Pete Wilson, uh, vetoed that legislation. I, I agree with Pete Wilson. And here, to, and, and here to debate me is actor, writer, gay activist, David Gadbury. Here he is right here. Bring him up. I got some words. I got some words. Well, I got a question to ask you. I want. I want to ask you something. What is it? You know, I was standing on the I was standing on the sideline, and why are you always playing with your wig? I. I. This is not I a mean, wig. Your hair. I am not playing with my hair. You're you stupid. You're always going like this. I'm very doing... gay. Very. Oh. Very closeted. Wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. You talking about? Are you gay? I hope the hell I am. Oh, boy. Now, you know what? You, you won't believe this. David... Fish, what? Fish. Yeah. David Gadbury is the author of a book called... Hey, audience, if you don't quiet down right now, I'm going to clear the audience out. Now, I told you, you've got to quiet down when I say so. Now, please, guards, watch the audience carefully, and we're going to get those out who will not quiet down. We have, an, we have a show to do here now. So quiet down the audience. Now, David Gadbury is the author of a ludicrous book called How to Seduce a Straight Man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Half your audience is right there. I, I got have chapters missed. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. There is no way, there is no way that you could seduce anybody. <laughs> Let's go out, Wally, and I'll show you. Now, you are also the creator, pr creator, producer of the first gay soap opera called Secret Passion. Oh. And I understand that you also have a film coming out. Yeah, I have a film that's in production right now. It'll be released the 1st of November. And a syndicated, a, a syndicated gay or... A syndicated gay-oriented talk show, is that correct? Right, the Wally Epps show. Oh! oh. Now, my, my hair, my wig or hair is going to be longer, though. And, and you want me to appear on this sick show of yours? I think you should be co-host. You can be like, you know... Don't count on it. All right, now, now let's talk about this... Uh, let's talk about this uh, Assembly Bill... Audience, let's hold it down. We got a, we got a show to do here. Uh, let, let's talk about Assembly Bill 101, the uh, gay rights legislation bill that was vetoed by Governor Pete Wilson. I say the governor had every right to veto that bill. Uh, well, 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 is a... He's the governor that, of California. Yeah, the governor that's a liar, flat out lies. He said two years ago at a log cabin meeting in Laguna Beach, on tape, he said when he was begging for votes, I will sign the bill. And what does he do? Typical jackass. Lies. Well, and this is the governor of this great no, state of California. Now let me answer he is you. A liar. Let me answer. A liar, right there, pure and simple. Let me. Do you want him as governor? Let me. Yes, I do want so him as governor. You? I guess liars now, play let me, together. Let me answer you, David. Let me answer you. The, the governor explained that. He, he was talking about, he said he, he still may, may sign a bill that, that is a little bit different. Oh, yeah, of course. He said the bill bit that different. he saw he could not sign because there is already legislation on the books here in the state of California oh, making, it, making it illegal to... Wait, wait, let me finish. You, you, let me finish. Okay, point them out. It says right in the book you, that you cannot discriminate against anybody for any reason on the job market. Case in point, there was a man, who, a homosexual, 
worked for Shell Oil Company, was fired, and, and he filed a lawsuit saying that he was fired because he was gay. He won the lawsuit for about five million dollars. Well, that's correct. So you okay. can't say. Okay. If so they, they already true, have it on the book. If it's true that they're already on the book, what's the problem in clarifying it and putting sexual preference in? If it's already on the book, like you said. But, 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 Listen, what's the point? What's the difference? What I'm Why saying to you, there? it's because he's afraid. No, wait. A chicken. You're out of here. Wait, 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 listen. He's afraid. Afraid to stand. David. Up David. The bottom line is, he promised the community two years ago, I will sign the bill. Don't pound my and desk. He didn't sign that bill. No, wait. He's a liar. He lied about taxes. He lies about everything. David. He's wait. A man without a cause. Why? What? Wicked, wicked, hey! Don't you oh, yeah. worry, worry. about you know <laughs> hey one thing one thing he can't lie about is, is they have a big head of hair anymore <laughs> let's count yours and mine now, what i'm telling you david is why wait why is it necessary to have a bill when there's already legislation there, there on the book already, it's, it's not on the book if you what you're saying if you would listen for a change instead of playing is if it is on the bill which is the not it's not clarified on the book if it is like he's saying you're saying what's the big thing about right, putting right, it right. in there here's what it is here's, here's, no, here's the answer no he'd rather the, skirt the sit issue back so they can hear you in the, in the microphone here's the answer speaking of skirts i'm surprised he didn't, he didn't wear his down today <laughs> and i'm warning you quit trying to look at my pant leg okay okay <laughs> now now, 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 here's the wait, wait, hold it. Here's the answer to that, to, to that thing that you just answered. As Governor yeah. Wilson uh, just asked, a, as as Governor Wilson pointed out, he looked at this at this whole bill, and he said if he signed it, what would happen is that would open the floodgates for a tidal wave of lawsuits. Oh, that's a wait, lie. Wait a that's a lie. Yes, no, 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 no. Hey, this same bill is in different cities, and that didn't happen. So why would it happen No, no, now? but can't you see? That's a lie. That's if, a cop-out. He's this, a wimp. If this was, uh, wait, if this was on the books, if this was on, on the books where it, uh, you had this, this whole homosexual uh, legislation, what would happen is if a homosexual like yourself on the job, got fired. We'll go a little, little long here. If if you got fired because you were doing an inferior job, uh, what would you do? And what would thousands of other gays do? They would immediately. I would go look minute. for another job. No, you're you're but, making it a subject. But Wally. many many would would go right to, to hiring an attorney, go to, uh, and file a lawsuit saying. They didn't fire me because no, I didn't do a good job. Money for something it's because lose. I was homosexual. That's what would happen, and you know it, no, David. It hasn't happened in other communities where the same bill's at. It didn't happen in Los Angeles. It didn't happen in San Francisco. But, but it will why happen. Because, oh, why? Why? Because it Orange will, County is different. If we put this on the books, it's going to encourage thousands of lawsuits. Don't you think so? No. I'll be right back. <laughs> guest is gay activist, actor, writer, David Gadbury. Yeah. Now, you know, David, what, what really bothers me is that this whole thing about uh, if you're going to have a special discrimination bill uh, for homosexuals, then why not a special discrimination bill for blacks? For Latinos, they do. They do. for women, they do. Uh, 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 why not? You, you, you see, no, no, but why not just separate them? You see, you cannot. It is against the law. Go and look it up. It is against the law to discriminate on the job or in housing and it happens. against Carl anybody. And discriminate. Coors Beer discriminated against gays. Well, then they can file a lawsuit hey, right now. They, they can file should. a lawsuit. They, they should. should. That's why they're trying to get AB one away. But, but the don't. bottom line is, and you can't deny it, is Wilson lied. 
Recall Wilson. He lied. What else is he going to lie about? This is, this, this is not what we're talking about. We, Wait, we're, we're talking about AB 101, and we're talking about a jackass like Wilson. What we're talking about is there is no need to, to bring about millions of dollars of taxpayer money to bring on legislation you know, that is not needed. Now, oh, now you see, yeah, not the, needed. the whole reason... Let me ask you this. Why would a homosexual on the job uh, be uh, having problems anyway if he or she did not make it openly uh, known to the office, well, you want them to hide their lies. Well, why do they? What? what? Why do they have? Why do they have to advertise the fact hey, that, that they're if gay? Hey, if you're by the water cooler and the guy's talking about the weekend, if you want to bring it up, you know, I don't go into my job and say, "By the way, I'm gay." It just becomes, "No, can I talk?" Thank you very much. You know, it just becomes, no, and you work with the people day in and day out, obviously you're going to get to know a little bit about them. Yeah, but there are a lot of gays, I am sure, who are working at very good jobs, and they just don't go around and advertising the And they have to hide in the closet right? because of these... And of course they have to hide in the closet because of organized religion, like Mr. Alleged heterosexual Sheldon well, just being investigated for tax fraud like Swagger. We know all about Swagger and Baker and everybody. Organized religion is being on people's ignorance, misconceptions, all right, all right. fear, What I'm and saying guilt. is, why is it necessary? religion. Why, wait, why is it? Why is it necessary on the job to talk about your sexual preferences because, to begin hey, with? If not gay people talk about your <laughs> weekend. Hey, hey, watch hey, your why language. Can't talk about it too. <laughs> Watch now, your language. It happens all the time. It just becomes known. You know, if somebody doesn't want to talk about it, don't talk about it. But they should feel comfortable enough to talk I'm about sure, it without I'm having sure, to get fired. I'm sure there are a lot of heterosexuals who are into bondage, S&M. Oh, that's when and, you bring and all, up sex. And, and, and into all yeah, kinds of... Yeah, lower and, yourself in the gather. I'm, wait, what I'm saying is, David, I'm sure there are a lot of heterosexuals who are into kinky sex, and they, don't, they, talk, have to do with they don't have to talk about that around the water coolers, do they? Hey, if they want to, they're not going to get fired. They, they might very well. Well, they should They might be. very hey, well. What they do outside the job doesn't I, reflect I the job think, performance. I think, an employer, I think an, an employer, if How he found... How many gay employees do you have, Wally? Uh, what, we don't ask anybody uh, what their uh, sexual uh, orientation is. You don't is. know for sure about any of them. What I'm yeah, saying... Right. What I'm... David... I ask the questions here. What I'm saying is, there are certain things you don't have to talk about, and one is sexual preference. You don't talk about, if, if you're a kinky heterosexual who believes in s and and bondage and, and collect pornography, you don't talk about that. And if you do, I think you would get fired because people don't want kinky people around oh, the office. Yeah, you yeah. want kinky stuff. So, in other words, if somebody on a job, if a non-gay person stands there talking, they happen to talk about their weekend, they should get fired? I say if they now, keep on talking about kinky stuff, well, what they kinky, probably... What, why do you keep bringing kinky stuff up? Homosexuality is not kinky. What I'm trying to tell you is sexual orientation, sexual preference of any kind does not need to be talked about at the office, and if it wasn't talked about at the office, we wouldn't have any trouble, any problems with yeah, anybody, and, and, would we? And if we had organized religion back in the church where it's supposed to be, we wouldn't have a problem about having AB 101. The church is the reason that it's all started. You know, we're tired of sitting in the back of the bus. We're tired of sitting in the closet and everything. There's a war going on on civil rights and basic human rights. Well, you, and if you, it's not, if it's after the gays, who's going to be next? All right, all right, not, I, I have a question sent to me from the audience, and it's uh, from some people, well, members, Calvary Chapel, obviously. members of, of Calvary Chapel in Costa Mesa and right there. We okay. know about that. All right, here's the question from the audience. Do you believe that homosexuality is compatible with, with the Christian church? I'm not Christian. I don't know. But, but, but is it compatible? I'm not Christian. I don't know. Christian church. Well, well all, yes, you're all, not. All I can say is it says in the Bible, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus well, Christ. Well, you know, it, and I believe God and Jesus is a loving person, a caring person, and they're not persecutors, and they don't go down in West Hollywood bugging people like Calvary Chapel does, no, no, wait, forcing wait themselves to the minute. establishment. Wait a minute. Let's get back into to this. Yeah, uh, wait, a, hold, 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 wait, wait, David. Okay, go back. Let's get back into this, but religionally, how, how would you explain then this, this passage from the scripture, man shall not lie with man I as he does with woman, read that it is an abomination. Well, that's an interpretation. Yeah. That's, an yeah. that's an interpretation, somebody mad. Yeah. All I know is this is the way I am, and I'm not going to change for some I'm idiot. Not, I, I'm not, 
for some yeah. idiot who? Yeah, for who? some idiot organization like Calvary Chapel or, or no. Lou Sheldon, Mr. Alleged the, Heterosexual. All, all we're talking about, all wait, wait, all we're talking about here is an assembly bill in the state of California 